So we're here at Milo Bar in Leeds with Sauce for Kazupa Festival. How are we feeling? I've had a bit of a big drought, so I'm not feeling too well. I need to get this bar and relax. You've been driving for about three hours. Took me about an hour and a half. We've got a question, right? Never mind. You asking questions for a minute. I've got a question last week. Why is it taking you three hours to get from there? Yeah, I fucking set off for it. I set off for 20 past three. It's fucking tragic. What? No, you didn't. No, you didn't send it. No, you didn't send it. Why are you going to be there at half three? Sorry. So basically you were late? I was late, yeah, but there's been a, <laughs> there were obstacles in my path as to why I were late, you know what I mean? What obstacle? M65 was fucking flooded, that's <laughs> it. completely flooded. Um, and traffic is tragic in town. But you're here now, that's I'm amazing. Here, I'm thing, so, you can have a bevy now. Exactly. Yeah, we're alright man, yeah we're good. Um, look forward to playing I suppose, yeah. Definitely, so. Sure. For the people that don't know, how long have Source been going as a band? Where did it all start? We've been going now for about, I reckon, two years, year and a half, no, probably about a year and a half. And then the experience of the likes of me, what we like to call him, Dean over here, joined in January. Um, so, yeah, about a year and a half, but with the less than a year, but what is it? What are we in December? Yeah, yeah 11 months. Down, down, first, down pretty much, time them up. Literally, yeah. 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 So you'll be coming up to your year anniversary then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we should probably come up. We should do something. We should do a gig. It, it could yeah, even be. We have got a gig. We're um, headlining uh, night and day. On the nice. 28th of December, which is going to be cool. That was yeah, so you, you probably joined them. Wow, Jan, yeah. early Jan. Some, some, early some Jan. Jan. That that one, straight up Jan. Jan. Call it, that's not what Straight up Jan. Straight up Jan. Like first of Jan. Yeah. yeah, man. So, um, yeah. He always done mid-December, but God. He could have taps him up. Yeah, he taps him up online. <laughs> People are still in party mode then though, so you're not yeah, too bad. Yeah, that's why I agreed to him. He was pissed out of his head like yeah. this. He's like, seem alright. Yeah, the agent was being a bit of a dickhead though. He had to... <laughs> that's a lot of my private views. Who plays more than you, your dad? <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. on, Matthew got involved. 42% fees. We were like, come on, man. Fucking 10% surely. <laughs> We've started now. He's like, no, be a, good, be a good gig that night. Everyone's pissed at Christmas all the time. Isn't they? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They'll enjoy it with God's family. And night and day is such an iconic venue in Manchester as well anyway. What's the feeling of playing there? Have you played there before? Yeah. 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 These are, but I, I've played there. Have you ever played there? I've never played there. How many times have we played there? Like three. It's a very iconic venue. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's good. It's good to be back there, really. It sounds good. Always sounds good, doesn't it? Well, it's home turf, isn't it, as well? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And we've never headlined there. We've only supported the bands. Was that our first gig? Yeah, first gig. First ever gig was in Night and Day, when you yeah. When you saw the first ever gig about a year and a half ago. Was that in May? Last year. Probably, It was in, like, spring last year. Quite room. No, 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 no. It was with um, Kamara, oh, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a massive, massive venue that we've never before. We've forgotten about it there already. It's, 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 been six it's a class venue. Yeah. Now, with being Manchester based and obviously with the unsigned scene at the minute absolutely booming, how do you find it getting recognised and getting picked up? It's hard. Yeah, truthfully, man, it's properly, properly hard. Uh, but since Recently, things have slightly started yeah. to happen, as it were. But all we've done is release songs, play as many gigs as we can, practice, release more songs, and play more gigs. It's, you've got to be constant, haven't you? You've yeah, got to be. It is hard. It is hard because there's so many like class bands. There's also a lot of shit bands. Up. There is a lot of bands that were like you're rubbish, which is fair enough. We, a lot of people might think we're rubbish, but there's also some quality bands as yeah. well. So we're starting to play with those quality bands now and good bands have also then said to us we're half decent as well. So we're playing with Wide Room on the 2nd of December. Nice. So that's oh, going to be cool. We played with them before. We haven't played with them before. Played with them Night and Day. You were just talking about it only about two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We played with them Night and Day last winter. Probably this time last, I don't know, I can't remember. But, um, I think it was my birthday. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Why don't we fucking know anything? <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, because that, it's a Saturday and yeah. you've all had a drink. Yeah. The main thing is though, we're getting like we're getting interest from the right people. That's what you want. We're not getting stuck on like waiting to get picked up. We're just enjoying ourselves, playing good gigs yeah. and 
I do what should we do yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing in France next year. That's good. And France? As, as far Paris. As Paris, actually. At Le Pop. Le Pop. Le Pop. So how did this come about? Uh, well, <laughs> it's definitely a bit of a catfish, we'll but we're going to take it anyway. Though. Jean-Pierre, what's Jean- his name? Jean-Pierre Pelé. <coughs> Yeah, right. I've never met the guy, but when I do, I want to give him a big kiss. Yeah, the French, French kiss. He's given us, yeah. Double. On if, the he wants, if he wants. If he wants. Yeah. He's given us. Whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's given us nice. two gigs in France next March, and one of them's in Paris at a festival, like a blues rock festival or something. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I don't know about that. No, yeah. no, that festival's in Clermont, isn't it? And then they, we've got that gig in Paris. I'm yeah. oh, yeah. going wrong way around. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing I don't know, but that is going to be yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah. We're basically playing in Paris next year. It's going to be funny. It's They're putting us up as well. We've got accommodation, but then they said. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting meals as well. What, yeah. I don't know what these meals are going to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Frog's it, legs, bit of snails. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If it's not frog's legs, I won't be happy. Yeah, I'll be pissed off, man. Why you might have a cross on for breakfast. He's yeah. not got fucking onions around his neck. I'll be well pissed off, man. Sort it out. Yeah. Like, it's not French enough for me, either. Yeah. But that's obviously a massive sort of step, isn't it? Sort of leaving the UK and doing yeah. a gig. It's going to be the funniest week in the world. We're going to yeah. take it because it's like a midweek job, isn't it? So we're going to yeah. take the week off work and we're going to drive. We've just got a van ish. <laughs> we've got a van sorted. Yeah. We've got and a van, we've just not got it in our possession. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Yet. <laughs> but we're going to drive down in this van. Our mate Rosie's going to drive us. Yeah. He's the second biggest legend in the world behind Jean Pierre, whatever his name is. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it's going to be a good five days, man. And then we get back and we're playing in Bristol with Noah Ashes. Good band. Two days after, a week after. I think it's that weekend, isn't it? Nah. It's like two weeks before. Well, I love how you know nothing right. about this. Yeah, well, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Nah, we were going to be. We're going to try and sort it, but then we realise it's an 11 hours from. France yeah, yeah so we're gonna try and play the day or like day after or something and that won't go off. So it's, I think it's a week after, two weeks after, aren't it? Nah, it's before. It's before. We've got a bit booked in for next year, obviously. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's another cool thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you've got a lot in the pipelines then coming up. Yeah, take yeah. it. Yeah. We're recording EP as well, apparently. Oh, exciting. For some strange reason we've decided yeah, we're to book. Well, we booked five days in the studio in January um, to do our debut EP. Which will be yeah, in all class. Do we have a name for it? Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. We'll keep that under wraps. Yeah. What's, 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 what's the loss of head? Absolutely, loss of head might be a good idea, actually. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Art of Monkey is what I was just about to say. Yeah. If you share in a dressing room yeah. and yours yeah. says sauce on it, yeah. and then it says slash Arctic Monkeys, and then yeah. Alex Turner, like, you know, yeah. like, yeah. we're talking, drinking Jamie Seekston, yeah. and Alex Turner stood there in the middle of doing that, he kind of like, you know, that'd be alright. I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying Arctic Monkeys, man. Yeah. 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 Where? 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 Stage. Where? 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 The dream. All the all the London menus have got big names, but I've never been to any of them, so it means not to me. What? All the London menus. Why are you just playing? All the big London menus. Just play with that to monkeys at Jimmy's in town. Yeah, like. Can you name any? What are you talking about? Like from play. The Royal Albert Hall. That's the one. That's what I think. Never been there, so it means we go. I've been. Yeah, I've never seen anything. I don't want to play it. I've walked around. It's impressive, man. I think you should just play Jimmy's with Arctic Monkeys. No, we've played We've definitely played Jimmy's too many times. If it was at Jimmy's, they'd be surprised. If anybody's exhausted Jimmy's, it's definitely this band that we're We have bloody dry, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We'll play there. We'll definitely play there and see what else goes. I'm definitely in Jimmy's four times a week. He's, yeah. I'm the same. Yeah, it's, I live, I'm part of the furniture. I'd love to see a spreadsheet of how much. <laughs> I, <just laughs> don't want want to I don't want no. it to run a spreadsheet. Of how much money yeah, I've put behind their bar, yeah. I reckon we could. I reckon it'd get us a lot of studio time. I don't know what anyone did before it as well, no. Yeah, where do you go? Where, where, where did everybody go? I would just do an advert for Jimmy's. Martha's Martha's Key for Sauce. Smell it fast. Ruby Lamp, Ruby Lamp. Sure. The first decent gig were at uh, Jimmy, so my mates are obviously from Burnley, where I'm from. And like they nearly hit the floor when they got them. Is it like Jimmy's RPA? Like, like, <laughs> it's over a bar, it's a over a bar. You're making it sound like the tightest bone in the world. Yeah, it's 220 in Burnley, aren't we? We're just tight. We're not tight, tight. Right? Yeah, you are. I'm a tight fucking. Yeah, you definitely. That's why we're getting money on my way to my practice in my late life. It's kind of a fuck, man. I'd rather save three quid and go hungry. And eat an omelette when you get a nut. I don't know why I said omelette. He'll just buy a loaf of bread and just eat that. Omelettes are like scrambled eggs, but without pushing them. How much is it? Like doing that. Like poking. You know what you Yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Just let them fucking. Scrambled egg with a bit of sauce on top. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Sauce on that. On that. <laughs> on that. We've got, we, we, we got a cupboard in our house, like this with fucking pull out cupboard. Me and Henry live together, and like sauce shelf, and it is class. The best sauce shelf going. He's got that, what's that, Kareem? Right, right. Kareem so, so, is it Kareem? Yeah, I went to um, a visit in Greenfield briefly. 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 <laughs> Briefly this year, I visited Greenfields and I had these chicken wings with this like fucking Heinz barbecue sauce with like Korean in fucking influxes or whatever. Korean barbecue is a big thing, man. Korean barbecue, Korean barbecue yeah. Is a big thing. Anyway, found it in fucking Iceland for half price. I've got, we've got loads of it now, we've got fucking tons of it. And do you know the weird thing is? I've gone off it a bit as well. It's not even that nice. It's not even that nice. It's like, do you know, I just get a bit fucking hyped on shit for a bit at the moment. And they're like, I bought two bottles of the stuff, and they're fucking, they're not little ones, they're fucking proper. Proper bottles. Yeah, like four litres. Do you know what I mean? And I'm worried, they might work as a prop in the next video or something, like, in some respect. Now there's an idea. A bit of a Gaza dentist chair. Just fucking, uh, yeah, that could happen. Nah. I'm not into all these like extravagant sauces, mate. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm a straight up nail guy. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh, no, I like the brown sauce, mate. Yeah, yeah a bit of brown sauce and like the breakfast. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, you don't have know, mayo when you're baking butter. No, no, no that's not. No, that's yeah, that's just <laughs> weird. You can't be that weird. Even though you are from Burnley, it's not that weird, is it? Well, I don't know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> just, I guess I said throw that in there. <laughs> but basically, so play tonight, enjoy yourselves, yes. and. Everybody watching, look out for new music, re- new Especially gigs coming up. We're fucking sick, by the way. Our new, no, no, seriously. Our they are tune, sick. Our new tune, What Feels Better Than You and I, it's now on Spotify. 
Sad you know, right? did that, mate. Is it? He, he can write songs in you know. Yeah. Without the yeah. like, like, frustrated rapper. Yeah, he is. Like, <laughs> well, well, in our faith, if you listen to our first ever single, he does actually rap <laughs> for about four minutes. Keenis. Three Keenis. minutes forty, Keenis. actually. Yeah. Me and Andrew yeah. Keenis went on these lessons together. It's like, a talent. Yeah, it's a sort of that We sorted it. It was good to see in the um, <laughs> in the recording studio in Macclesfield. In the booth, fire. It was good to watch him actually spit some kind of Eminem. Yes. Yeah. 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 Can yeah. you feel right. it? All the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What feels better than you and I? The new song Club Source. Yeah. Correctly assigned to our Spotify profile and not the not the rapper that we were. So oh, no, we mind it. Right. We've been assigned with a rapper for some of the time and I'd like to collab. If, <laughs> if Source, if you're watching. <laughs> Sauce. This is sauce. Yeah. sauce. This is sauce. Sauce, sauce yeah. and sauce. Well, sauce on sauce. Can you imagine getting a meal where it was like a bowl of sauce and there's like, here's some more sauce. What? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. Like, <laughs> sauce, one sauce. That's, That's probably one of the most random things I've ever heard. You've said, you've said meal as well. Yeah, but the tune's massive. The tune's absolutely massive. We need more people to listen to it because <laughs> no one that I've spoken to has told me that they don't like the tune. It's a massive one, do you know what I mean? I don't we, like we need people to listen to it and it's not. Give it a listen, give it a whirl. The video will be out next week, actually. Uh, and your interview will be out next week to promote it even no, more. That's cool. Well, I'll say the video will be out next week. I don't know, it, it's cold, isn't it? How cold yeah. is it? Cold. I'm freezing, mate. Anyway, the video, we shot the video, like, last week, and that's going to look cool. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that'll give it a little boost, and we're all stood about posing like idiots, feel a bit weird about it, but it was quite a fun night, actually, filming it. But, um, Check yeah. Zaz out. We had, to do, yeah, yeah, we had to do a couple of films of the video, didn't we? Yeah, it was shit, man. Because he turned up in his fucking joggers for a day. <laughs> oh, now I'm like, before I'm completely forgot where we're going. I never, I never really wear really trackies, I but I thought, where were we? You were going about, you wear trackies all the time, mate. Yeah. 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 A chav at heart. Yeah. So, I am yeah. from Burnley, I'm so well, well, it is that. Um, Good to meet you, all, man. It's Good a, to meet uh, you, and thank you so much time. for your time as well. And oh, thank you for taking the time out for our chat. Anytime. And check sauce out. Thank you. Yeah.